The year is 1522, and you're sitting in your medieval castle trying to figure out how to expand your Wi-Fi coverage. Unfortunately, your medieval castle is made out of wood, metal, and rock. And unfortunately, Wi-Fi does not travel through rock or metal. So you tried extenders, and extenders didn't work. You tried mesh, and mesh didn't work. So what do you do? Well, there's another technology called Powerline. So what Powerline does is it uses the existing electrical cable in your medieval castle as network cabling. Well, your first reaction when hearing about Powerline may be, oh, well, that sounds kind of dangerous, but actually it's perfectly safe. This is the video complement to the chapter on extending your home wireless network in my home IT handbook, which you can download for free at wifiguy.net, the site that helps you go from computer novice to home IT guru. We'll be setting up and testing the TP-Link AV600 adapter to demonstrate Powerline as a way to extend your home wireless network. When shopping for Powerline adapters, you're going to notice very little in the way they name these things that resembles the English language. You'll see some pictures, some numbers and letters that don't make a whole lot of sense. For example, this is the TP-Link AV600 300 megabits per second. Okay, now what does that mean? You're probably used to seeing N and a number followed by megabits per second or AC and a number followed by megabits per second. But what is this? What is this AV600? And why is it separate from this number here? So this first number is the speed rating of the power line connection in your home. It starts off with AV300 and can go all the way up to AV2000. Obviously, the faster this rating, the more expensive the power line adapter. Then we see things that we're more familiar with. This is usually the maximum speed of the Wi-Fi side of the adapter. So this adapter has a power line maximum speed of 1300 megabits per second and a maximum Wi-Fi speed of AC 1200. It also has dual band Wi-Fi built in. This power line adapter has no Wi-Fi. It was specially designed to provide only very fast power line and ethernet speeds. One of the most popular power line manufacturers is TP-Link. They like to start you off in a starter kit, which is why you see the word kit here. It'll usually come with an adapter and an extender. You can then expand your power line network with other individual extenders. Now, when you get a power line starter kit, it will typically come with an adapter and an extender. Typically, you'll connect the adapter directly to one of the LAN ports in your wireless router and then pair the adapter and the extender. Once these two have identified and are communicating with each other, you can basically take the extender and put it anywhere in your home and depending on the quality of the wiring in your home, the two will be able to communicate and you'll be able to connect other devices in your home either with Ethernet or Wi-Fi to the extender. There are a lot of things that can go wrong here. If you have an older home the wiring in your home may not be able to provide a good connection between the adapter and the extender. Also, if you have a larger home with several breakers and circuits, the signal may not be able to jump from one circuit to the other. There's really no way to predict whether these things will work for you other than to take one home and try it. Many power line extender kits will offer different ways to hook them up. This particular kit offers the option of pairing or cloning. This can cause a lot of confusion, so let me break it down for you. When you use the pairing button on the adapter and the extender, these two devices will end up on the same network as each other, but on a different network than the wireless router and your other devices. Meaning you'll have to type in a completely different network name or SSID and password to connect to the extender. Now you should be able to go into the extender's web interface and change this if you want to. The other option is to clone the extender directly to the wireless router, just like you would with a Wi-Fi extender. In this case, the extender and the router are on the same exact network. 
Now, one thing you want to look out for when using power line extenders is you don't want to connect them to power strips. The way current travels through these things can confuse and degrade the performance of a power line extender. Now, when you're setting up your power line extenders, it's perfectly fine to plug them both into the same power strip. But once they're paired up, you don't want to keep the adapter or the extender plugged into a power strip. So to pair your adapter with the extender, you simply plug the adapter into your wireless router, plug the extender into an outlet that's really close, and then hit the little pair button on the bottom or the side of both of the devices within two minutes. Once the power lights on the adapter and the extender are solid green, they're connected and ready to use. You'll be able to place your extender anywhere in the home you want and connect using the SSID and password on the side of the device. That is unless you go into the web interface of the extender and change the SSID and passphrase to match your wireless router. To clone the extender with the router, we don't connect the adapter right away. Instead, we hit the clone button on the extender, the WPS button on the router, and the clone process will copy the settings from the wireless router, such as the SSID and password, over to the extender. This puts the power line extender on the same wireless network as the router. Once that's done, you can connect the adapter to a LAN port in the wireless router and plug it into the wall. And the adapter will automatically create a connection with the extender. You can then move the extender to an area of the house that needs Wi-Fi coverage. Any devices that were connected to the wireless router before should be able to automatically connect to the power line extender. To add additional extenders, simply use the pairing button on the new extender and pair it up with either the original extender or the adapter. The wide variety of features on this particular power line adapter and extender made it a good example of what you can expect when shopping for and setting up a power line device. I provide links to a good variety of power line adapters in the description below. Sometimes it's time to open up an instruction manual and try to understand instructions that have been translated from Chinese to English and get all confused and frustrated. And other times it's time to say, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to pop in a YouTube video and figure it out. Well, this is one of those times. These things are way simpler than the instruction manual makes them appear. If the word plug and play ever applied to anything, it's this. Okay, so we've got my router. We've got the adapter, we've got the extender, we've got the cable coming out of the router that I'm going to plug into the adapter, and we have the plug that we're going to plug the adapter into. First thing you want to do is you want to plug in the adapter. Then you want to plug in the extender. Now, this light over here this light over here those are your power buttons those are the lights that you want to keep an eye on so to pair these things simply hold down the pairing button over here for two seconds 1001 1002 then you do the same thing with the pairing button over here now these two lights will start blinking and when they stop blinking they're paired up Okay, so now these devices are paired up. I'm gonna put this cable, which comes out of my wireless router. Once you do that, you can see that third light comes on. That's the ethernet light. Okay, so now we can take this thing and we can plug it into the wall. Simple as that. Okay, so the adapter is off and running. It's time to take the extender and plug it into another location in the home. Okay, now that the power line extender has been plugged into the wall, we should be able to find it in our list of Wi-Fi connections. And here it is. So I already have it entered in here, so it should be just a simple matter of going connect. And we have a connection. So that means up to this point, everything is good. 
Okay, so here's where things can get tricky with Powerline. Powerline depends on a lot of things. One of those things is the quality of the wiring in your home. If you have an older home like I do, there's a good chance that this may not be the best solution. So the kind of power line adapter that you get really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. If you're trying to get fast Wi-Fi speeds, you want to spend a little bit more money on getting AC speeds on the Wi-Fi side. If you're mostly focused on getting an Ethernet connection into a remote area of your home, you want to focus your attention on the AV side, which is the power line connection. Of course, the AV power line connection in the wall impacts what you get through the Wi-Fi side. So given the fact that I live in kind of an older house and going by some of the other things I've seen around here, I'm going to say that I don't have very good quality wiring in my home. So this test might actually turn out to be a little disappointing. But let's go ahead and see what we get. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect from the adapter and I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi Guy 2.4, which is the end side of my wireless router. All right, we're connected. Let's go on over to Ookla. Okay, so on the Wi-Fi side of my laptop, I'm getting 90 down and 12 up. So let's connect to the power line adapter. Okay, we're connected. Okay, let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, so that's about half what we were getting through the regular Wi-Fi on my laptop. So that's kind of disappointing. But then keep in mind, this is a slow power line adapter, and it looks like I have some pretty crummy wiring in my home. Okay, so the next thing I want to test is the Ethernet speed. And I'm going to enable the Ethernet. Alright, so there's our Ethernet connection. And that's coming through the power line adapter. So let's see what we get now. Okay, nothing to write home about. It's almost identical to the Wi Fi speed, and half of what we were getting through the regular Wi Fi on this laptop. So, what have we learned from this? What we've learned is that Powerline does work, but depending on the wiring in your home, your results may vary. Also, keep in mind that this is kind of a low-end Powerline adapter. I provided links to some more high-performance Powerline adapters in the description below. Well, that's about all I have about Powerline adapters. I wish I could have gotten some better results, but hey, it is what it is. I hope you got the information you need to make an informed decision when shopping for power line adapters. If you did, please do the YouTube doinky doink. <laughs>